y'all it's t and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys a little bit of what i got done during my week off from work it's not a whole lot because i was trying to rest and get some things done outside of the home but i did get a little bit of cleaning and i'm going to show you guys a quick little recipe so i'm going to get started up here in the theater room to get it clean and restock with snacks for our guests and then i'll be moving on to other parts of the house so if you need to get any type of cleaning done in your home go ahead and take me along with you because this is our time to get it all done together y'all so before i move any further into today's video i just want to mention something real quick about the tv that's in the theater room i got several comments and i get questions about why we didn't put a projector screen up and that's because we do not like projectors we've had one before and was it a fan so we switched back to having a tv and that is a 85 inch tv if anyone is interested or curious about the size of that it is more than big enough for this room so i want to say hey to all of my returning subscribers and welcome to all of my brand new subscribers. Y'all keep coming. And I appreciate y'all coming over to see about little old T. And then once you got over here, you decided to stay and hang out with me. And I definitely appreciate all of you for that. 
So for those of you that may be new here, once again, my name is T and on this channel, the majority of the content that you'll be seeing from me will be cleaning motivation, but you also see home decor, home DIY projects, home improvement projects, home decor hauls, and any other type of home related content that I can think of, I will be posting it over here on this channel. So if any of that content interests you, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I post a brand new video. So I post brand new videos every Monday evening. Any other extra content that I may have, I will post that video over on the weekends. So before I jump back into the music for today's video, I want to go ahead and give this week's channel shout out. So this week's shout out goes out to Meech and Monica. If you are interested in vlogging channels, definitely be sure to check them out. On their channel, you get a little bit of vlogging, you get cooking, and a little bit of in between. So you can definitely see the love between them in their videos it is just such a nice site to have over here on youtube it's just so positive their channel is really really positive and uplifting so if you are interested in their channel and you decide to go over to check them out let them know that t sent you the link to their channel will be down in my description box so I also wanted to mention about the cabinet here that is used for our snack bar. I got questions about this in the home makeover video, but I forgot to mention the details. So here with the refrigerator, my husband just built a platform underneath and then kind of put like a facing on the front and painted it black to kind of cover that um platform that he built and then the cabinets those are just regular cabinets from lowe's and then over where we have the candy at those are cabinets that he took the doors off of and kind of hung the shelves like the back higher than the front and then he put the same facing on it and painted it all black all of the hardware came from amazon and then the countertop was from a local um home supply store here in town so that is all it was it was a diy we couldn't we couldn't find what we really wanted so he came up with this idea and he made it himself <laughs> Tell me now if you will go with me all the 
sister has mentioned in 
our um live video from friday night i felt kind of bad that i did not have it when they came but we are about to go and pick victory up so i am going to make this and take this to them so hopefully they will be happy <laughs> i know my brother-in-law will but everybody else will too but anyway this salad is really really simple to make here are all of the ingredients i use i'm not going to use all of this onion and bell pepper i'll probably use about a fourth of each i use sweet pickle relish craft real mayo um celery seed old bay pepper garlic powder and onion powder some imitation flake style crab meat and then some large shrimp. Now, I don't use salad shrimp because I am just not a fan of salad shrimp. So, I like to use raw shrimp and um, season it and cook it myself. So, I'm going to go ahead and prep the shrimp, get it seasoned, get it cooked, and then we'll go ahead and get started. cooking I'm going to go ahead and prep the crab meat the shrimp of course the shrimp only takes a couple minutes it's almost done and some of the pieces I did cut in half I tend to do that when I buy large shrimp not all of the pieces just some of the pieces And just in case you did not get a good shot of the bag, I usually get the large shrimp peeled the vein with the tail on. And it's a 24 ounce package. All right, so the shrimp is done and I'm just gonna let it sit here and let it cool while I go and cut up the peppers and the onions and then I'll come back and put everything together.
so now we are about to get everything all mixed up our shrimp is already nice and cool so i'm going to go ahead and add that in i'm going to go ahead and add the onion and bell pepper that i already chopped up <laughs> Ahead and add the relish now i don't measure this um but i guess for the sake of this video i'll go ahead and start with a fourth of a cup a heaping fourth of a cup <laughs> i'll go ahead and start with that and mayo of course mayo is all about preference depending on how um I guess moist you want your salad to be and I just I don't measure I just dump it in and we're gonna start with about eat we're gonna start with about that much if I had a guess I would say that that is maybe about a cup a little over a cup so I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this up and I like to use craft mayo because it just gives the salad a better taste. Um, I've tried it with Hellman, Hellman's and Duke's. Duke's is my favorite mayo, by the way. That one is perfect for potato salad. But for this salad, um, craft mayo is the way to go because it's thinner and it's a little bit sweeter and it just brings out everything in the salad, in my opinion. I think that that may be good. I am going to add a little bit more relish. So probably about another eighth of a cup of relish because this is not full. Y'all, this is so easy to make and it's perfect for the summer, especially with the cookouts coming and things like that. This is the perfect salad for that. I'm going to go ahead and add my celery seed. Sometimes I would chop up fresh celery, but I don't have any. So I'll go ahead and use this. And I just sprinkle. There's really no measurement to that. And it's all about preference as well. So whatever you want to do, or however much you want to add of that, or you don't have to add it at all. It's just how I like to make mine. I think that that actually looks good. I am going to add, I always go back in and add a little Old Bay because that imitation crab meat really does not have that much flavor. It's sweet, but other than that, nothing, is, nothing else. So I think that's pretty much it. Just a little bit more mayo to it. And if I had to guess, that's probably believed by another fourth of a cup of mayo. And I am just going to mix that in. And I think we're going to be good to go. To go ahead and taste it to see how it tastes. Make sure I get a little bit of shrimp and everything else on the spoon. And y'all, this is good to go. so the final place that i will be tackling will be the living room it does need a little bit of tidying up it's not terrible but it needs a little bit of attention so i'm gonna go ahead and get all of that cleaned up and i'm going to get my lamps switched out and also my pillow covers and i wanted to mention um that i did put up a community post about asking questions or asking you guys what questions that you had for me i like to do that at least once a month because i do 
do get brand new subscribers and I would like for you guys to get me get to know me a little bit better. So if you are interested in leaving questions for me to answer in my next video, please check out my community tab. You can leave your questions there. It's just a lot easier for me to keep up with over there. So y'all, I am working on finding new decor for the living room. I just want to, I don't know. I just want to switch it up a little bit. I'm not sure what I want to do exactly. Um, but I know I want some different things down here. So y'all know that home decor takes some time. So in the meantime, I'll just be placing the items that I already have on hand until I find what I like or what I'm looking for. Not that I don't like what I already have, but you know, something different that I am looking for. So the lamps that you're going to see me put in place here in a few minutes, they came from upstairs. They were in the master bedroom. Instead of storing them away, I decided to put them in a different space in the house. And I actually like them down in the living room and I purchased those from Ross and I'm also going to switch out my blue pillow covers take them off wash them and store those away and then put my white pillow covers on and then pull my gray smaller pillows from upstairs that I have stored away
So we are almost at the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you a little bit of motivation to get some things done in your home. I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here and let the music take us out. So once again, thank you all for tuning in and spending some time with me on today. I will see you guys in the next one. Yesterday I lost a battle Trying at a cost so oh, to keep you baby Oh to keep you baby do, do, do. Now I hurt so bad All I feel is sad that I lost you baby Oh I lost you baby I said goodbye with tears inside Calling out your name behind you and now I wonder why won't you come back love me hold me need me like the way you used to do when it was just me and you don't go I need you I'll never mislead you give this love another chance take my hand and let me have Calling out your name